You know, for years, as we've been selling directly to chefs, you know, people wanted the product at home. How can I get this at home? And right. as right. you know, we've been doing the home delivery boxes since March, almost coming up on a year. Yeah, it's, and, and, and as a result of that, we've seen every season that the farm offers. Not all the products, but all the seasons, for right. sure. Right, right. People think because it's gourmet or that Michelin star chefs use it that it's intimidating and... You know, yeah. it, it's really, it's approachable. Right, and great, great food doesn't have to be hard. Right, you exactly. Know? Um, farmer, you, you guys, I've said this before, are doing the heavy lifting here. And you start in great ingredients, uh, and you end with uh, you know, great food. And you know, I've heard from chefs for years, the biggest thing is don't get too much in the way of the product, just let the product, the product speak for itself. Exactly. And let it express, so. Let's get into it. Yeah. That's cool. This is the best of season box, right? And that kind of changes up as yeah as the seasons change. And that's kind of cool because I think Mother Nature really will provide you with such a great rhythm to what you're going to put on your menu. That's right. And you just let that dictate it. Deck of cards. Um, and these will change and have been changing seasonally as well. Microgreens, microherbs, flowers. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, bok choy. Yeah, these are great. A great size, you know, you just I love them. easy, quick cooking. Nice and they're tender. They're sweet, they're tender. Some of the Asian greens. You can just dump that right yeah. in, look at that. Some of the red mustard, the mizuna, the tatsoi, maybe some arugula. Mm -hmm. A lot of salads there. Yeah. Now, I noticed that uh, these are all in one bag this time. Uh -huh. We got carrots, we got beets, we got the watermelon radish, the lime radish, all in one bag. Right, the mixed root vegetables. Mixed root. Yeah. Right. Um, you should highlight those. You know, you'll see a, a pretty distinct difference between a, um, you know, a beet and a radish. Uh, a lot of it is really defined by its shape. We don't see a lot of radishes that, that taper this way. Um, there are three varieties of beets. You know, we have golden beet, the candy stripe beet, and the red beets, and then two or three varieties of radishes you'll see. Uh, but it's really about the shape that, um, that kind of pulls these, uh, pulls these apart. I mean, I tend to look at this and think turnip. Yeah. You know, but of course, as soon as you cut into it and you see the red interior, you know that, that it's a watermelon radish and not a turnip. Right, I mean, look at how that was hiding behind the surface, it's crazy. Uh, carrots as well, you'll see a few different varieties. Now they're pretty distinct from the other vegetables, obviously. Um, really versatile. I like these vegetables this time of year. Um, the sugar levels keep climbing up, right? We're getting yeah, there. It's, great. it's like a wine. You know, yeah. you think of a young wine and then you store it and let it age and cure and the, the sugar levels go up. The same thing happens with the root vegetables. All right. Well, let's get into it. What are you, uh, what are you thinking? You know, Mary does a salad for us almost nightly. It's pretty straightforward and simple and honey crisp apple from over to Quarry Hill nice. or Burnham's and you know some oranges and some walnuts and just make a, a simple salad. Yeah. I'm thinking that same direction too uh, but not as simple. Um, we'll, we'll try and incorporate every ingredient in this box. Wow okay. Um, into a, a, a raw and slightly steamed like with the bok choy uh, salad that kind of warms you up. It's a good winter, winter vibe. You know, I mean, just these greens, they can just be treated just like the lettuce. And you put them on there. And, because when you're harvesting them at this stage, they're just so tender. Now, these butts, I'll even work those in. But I might cut those a little bit smaller. But they're still even crunchy. There's not any part of this that can't be used. It's 100% usable. Right. I right. mean, you know, look at this one. This one actually... Had another carrot that grew right up around it. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're not putting stuff in here that's perfect shaped. We're putting product in that's perfect flavor, high nutrient levels. And we're not throwing these away. If this was in a grocery store, it'd get rejected because it had a little bit of a... I'm a little disfigured, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have in that dressing? This is another package of uh, micro herbs and, and greens. Uh, olive oil, salt. Now, are you running that through like a Vitamix or something and breaking it down? Yeah, or? yeah, just give it a good blend. Okay. Um, you know, really fine before you start adding oil. Right. And it'll, you know, emulsify right in. 
Yeah, lettuce in particular is uh, really cool. I mean, lettuce is a vegetable, right? It's basically, it's a, it's a dense plant. Um, and those stems can be treated just like, um, just like bok choy, right? Right. Um, we rarely cook them for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Um, kind of in our culture, it's just not been a thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a great way to use, you know, if you have a lot of lettuce to, to turn it into a smaller volume, you know, and just steam it real quick. Then add like sesame seeds to it and like, you know. Right. Speaking of beets, um, I've got a, another emulsion here, another dressing made with beets. Oh, that's beautiful. What else? I think it can be simple. This is not intimidating. I mean, we can use this stuff. We incorporate in some leafy greens, keep it raw. I like the idea of steaming the bok choy on there. I think that's going to add a dimension. Yeah, I'm excited by this walk through the garden. You know, this uh, sort of expression of where yeah. we are in the season right now. Just whatever, pop the box open and just play. Have yeah. some fun and create. Yeah. There you go. And uh, how many more salads do we have? Oh here? my gosh. I mean, it's all week. You can eat out of that all week. <laughs>